What is poppin' Bobbies? It's me, Sediments, and I am here with Warsium, the realm of Oslona. Okay, this game is actually rated one of the top of 200, uh, top of the 250 hidden gems on Steam. It's got 97% like rating overall, and it's like it looks amazing, and I cannot wait to play. Thank you to the developer for letting me play this game, and let's just get right into it. Oh, I've never played a game like this. So this is gonna be really cool. All right, so random races. Let the world be random. You know what? I like random. Let's keep doing that. Okay, all right. Choose how long you wish your game to run for anything other than no time limit gives you a score when the time runs out. Uh, two. Uh, okay, two. <laughs> 50 years. Do you want to make your own name or have one selected randomly? I'm going to make my own name. Yeah. Dumb books. Books. All right. Choose your difficulty. Casual, easy, normal. Uh, you know, let's go for normal because I don't want to. Make it too easy or too hard, because I suck at everything I- Okay, uh, you are the ruler of a once great kingdom of Aslona, fighting against the rooted rebellion of the Fedala and the king- Okay. <coughs> this is really epic music. You are ruler of the once great kingdom of Aslona, fighting against the rooted rebellion of Fardala the Kinslayer, the horde of Fener, the overlord of all bandits, and the several minor bandit gangs who pester your lands. The world is vast and complex. There is much to see and do, and little time to waste. From the fabled ancient lands to the blood-soaked arena, these lands call to be the united under the flag of Oslona. I messed up so much, but this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> All right, load tip. Throne room is a great way to grow your public opinion, as long as you're nice. All right, <laughs> I'm very nice. Okay, I'm actually really excited. I've never played a game like this, and I can't wait to see how these games, okay, what did I just do? The world is full of mystery and wonder. There are many peoples in this world. They are men, cave ashtaki. Divine half demons, half minute I minotaurs, <laughs> I minotaurs, masked ants, immortal corpse, corpse lords, <laughs> goblins, and demons of the southern gate. Press any key to continue. You are invited to the royal crowning ceremony. Go to the ceremony. Skip it. <laughs> I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> yeah. Goal: two thousand men, seven hundred fifty lands, five public. Oh, that's my stats. Okay, that's cool. So. One, recruit and sell troops. Hire mercenary campaign. Okay, what am I gonna? Oh, I can pick what to do. Ooh, ooh, I wanna. <laughs> Let's visit the bank. Oh crap! What did I just do? There we go. All right, you are currently have five four three, nine one stored in the royal bank. Withdraw, withdraw all of it. How much gold would you like to withdraw? All of it. Invalid. Oh damn it. Uh, five four nine one. <laughs> okay, press any key to continue. You have no call to withdraw. Alrighty, so we got all the money. Alright, visit the little arena, visit the throne. Let's go to the throne room, why not? You enter the throne room and take your place on the throne of Aslon. Oh, I forgot I'm the king. <laughs> you are told that there are currently 16 people waiting to see you. Wow, that's a lot of people. Send in the next visitor. A traveling game ma master visits your court and invites you to play a popular tavern game called Sudden Death. He says the game costs 20 gold per play and the prizes double your 20 gold. He says he plays western rules. He has 220 gold to bet with. You have seven. I have that much? Wow. Holy crap. Hmm. To the dungeons with him. <laughs> the man curses as he is taken away. Rumors of your cruelty spread. Minus one public opinion. Press any key to continue. You screw you. I can do whatever I want. I'm the king. You remain on your throne and you look to your guards. They quickly snap to attention and tell they that there are currently 15 people waiting to see you. Well, that's how math works. Tell your guards you are no longer seeing... Fi nah, I'll take some more. I'll take some more. One, next visitor. You are visited by an armed man who demands a glorious death fighting for us, Lona. You know what? I allow you to enlist. I like that. We need more of you like you. The man thanks you and heads out to your courtyard to collect his uniform. You remain on your throne and look to your... Okay, yeah, 14. That's math. Math works like that. Let's get another person. You are visited by a masked ent from Boundless Masterdom of Heart Roots. I have no clue what any of those words mean. <laughs> Who seeks to fight for you because you seem interesting. <laughs> that's why... Okay. <laughs> why would I execute the man? Keep him. I like him. The masked ent bows to you. Oh, well, I think. Now 13 people. Let's get another one. You are visited by a young disgraced knight who wishes to quest out into the unknown for you. Allow him to quest! Why not? Very well. I shall go on a quest for you. That's what I told you to do. 
Next visitor. You are visited by a traveling jester who says he just wishes to make you laugh hysterically with a handwritten joke. You know, takes a takes a lot to make me laugh. Let's see. Why should you avoid crossbowmen? It's wise to avoid quarrels. <laughs> the man cries as he is taken away. The rumors of your cruelty spirit. I don't even get the joke! Okay, alright, alright, whatever. Next person. Your guards bring forward a man who is accused of stealing eggs from farms. Ask him to explain himself. Execute this bandit scum to the dungeons with him. Release him. You know what? You gotta get food the way you gotta get food. The man leaves. You remain on your throne, ten people await. Alright, let's get one more. You are visited by a wise man who says he has some advice to share. <laughs> let's listen. <laughs> Beware of he who uses madness as a mask. The wise man awaits your reaction to this advice. Tell me another, I'm curious. While slavery is undesirable for a king of fair morals, but slaves offer a great number of advantages over their free counterparts. Just watch that they do not revolt. Are you supporting slavery? You're, you're supporting slavery. Execute him! Out! The man yelps as he is cut down before you. Rumors of your cruelty spread. Minus one, public opinion. Sweet, just the way I like it. All right, let's exit. Actually, let's call a meeting. I want a meeting. You call for a meeting of the Council of Aslona. Your two staff arrive and take their seat as the meeting begins. I want a bigger harvest. How can we combat the rebels? I want to be more liked. <laughs> if you make your decisions in the interest of the people, they will like you. Okay, but what about my interests? You might consider starting the Goblin Celebration. This festival helps. Tell me about the Black Market. What would you like to know about the Black Market? Should I attack it? <laughs> Last time I checked, they had 350 troops garrison there. What do you think? Attacking them might be worth it if you can overpower them. The market is a decent source of income. Well, you know what? I like income. Let's attack it. Okay, I can't attack it at the moment. That's fine. That's fine. All right, what else can we do? I want more troops. Why not? You could try assimilating any mercenary groups loyal to you into your own armies. I like that idea. Less ethical, but you could declare a law that would allow for more arrests and hire the prisoners. To... Oh my god, I love that idea. Alright, time to arrange for some diplomacy. The your head diplomat, Old Cruel, appears before you and bows. You begin to discuss possible diplomatic moves and actions with your neighbors. The rebels. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Bribe them to stop raiding you. Bribe them to disband. Let us explore the Western Lands. Why not? Denland is one of the most peaceful places in all of the realms. Little more than farmland and workers, and hardly any room for trouble at all. The land is fertile, and the folk are mostly happy. You like that? Okay. What's next? Okay, is that it? What do I do now? Okay, how? Okay, I don't want to mess this up. One, two. You come upon Morn Fort 9, which is currently held by a group of miners they claim to be the Harlaw Mining Company and kindly request you to leave. Nobody requests me to leave, I will attack them. <laughs> Send all of the troops. <laughs> General Goran Bickner, a skirmish is a good way to weaken the enemy with little risk. A wise choice indeed. I didn't think it was wise, but I liked it. What? The skirmish was a success. Your men bask in glory. How low losses? 350. Your losses? 146. I only have 561 men in remaining. Okay, that's fine. That's enough. 560 more. That's 560 more than I need. Because I have a one-man army. I'm going to kill myself one day. With all the Harlow me Company men dead, the mine is yours. Sweet. Another source of income. Turn peasants into miners. <laughs> Max 500. Currently zero. Let's do it. How many peasants would you like to add to the mine? You put 500 peasants into the mines? Okay, alright then. Take peasants out of the mines. Not happening. Prospects for other caverns within the mine. 
3,000 gold. Collapse the mine on 500. Oh, you collapsed the mine. I just killed 500 peasants. Oh my god. What else can we do? Oh, okay. You come upon more Fort Mine, which has been collapsed. I wonder why. <laughs> okay. Let us explore the southern lands. The parched lands is an uncomfortably warm place. It is full of dry rock and hard sands. Little life survives here, and there is rumor of demonic whispers here. But no one knows the truth. Well, it's time for me to find the truth. How do we do so? Fort Kulak. Bandits. Uh, sweet. Let's do it. Lava pit. Okay. Fort Kulak is an old bandit fortress that belongs to Gore the Bastard. The fort is garrisoned, and they won't give it up without blood or gold. Attack the fort. I got enough men. Send all of them. <laughs> General Gordon. Another skirmish. Weaken the enemy. I like it. The skirmish was a success! Your men blasting glory. Bass, blast. Ah. They lose 500, you lose 170. You have 391 remaining. Sweet, we've lost so many men, but it's worth it. <laughs> With all the bandits dead, Gore the bastard flees, and the fort is yours. Alrighty, invite a hero. I am a hero, we don't need one. Demolish the fort. Fort Gulak was an old... Uh, I already did that, I destroyed it. It's, it's gone, it's rubble and dust now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun. Holy crap. Okie dokie. Who are we going to attack now, Dimitri? King of Oslona. Well, you know, those orange dawn spawn have been getting on me. So I'm gonna... That sounded weird. I'm gonna just attack. General Gorn Pickner. Good, the orange dawn spawn are scum. How shall we attack them? Uh... Raid. General Gorn Pickner, we need to discuss troop assignments. How many shall we send? All of them! Go! Have fun! Have a good day! A raid is a good choice! You stand to take riches from your enemy. You'll put up a good fight. Trust me, we'll do it. See? Once again, the raid was a success. Third time's the charm. Then again, one and two were also great. And your men loot all they can. Orange Dawn losses, 139. So your losses, 181. Now we have a third of what we started with. <laughs> your men find nothing to loot. From Tarns, their lands are bare. Okay, we <laughs> that was not worth it. <laughs> this is actually really cool, guys. I really want you guys to check this out. Warsium, the realm of Oslona. I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna play some more of this. There's like so many possibilities, and I actually like had a lot of fun with the story and stuff. I would love to play some more. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Senovitz, signing off. <laughs>